Eloha, everybody, and welcome to this bonus good shit. Today, we are going to have a look at our St. Patrick's Day celebration. Yeah, we ate a lot of really evil chili gummy bears. Oh, God, they were horrible. And we tried to sing the classic Irish folk song, The Irish Rover. Now, what you can see in this bonus good shit right here is the first practice from us two silly boys, myself and talented musician Chris Padera, trying to get the Irish Rover to work before we dosed ourselves with the nasty sweeties. We had lots of fun. We hope you do too. <laughs> On the 4th of July 1806, we set sail from the Strait of port. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. Twas a wonderful craft, she was rigged for a nap. And how, how the wild winds drove her. She stood several blasts, she had 27 masts, and they called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the best of your rags, we had two million barrels of stone. We had three million sides of all blind horses' heights, we had four million barrels of clothes. We had five million hogs, six million dogs, Seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million bales of old nannies gold sails in the hold of the Irish Rover. There was old Mickey Crew who rain hard on his flute when the ladies lined up for a seat. He was tooting with skill for his sparkling quadrille, though the dancers were fluttered and bent. With his smart, witty talk, he was cock of the walk. And he rolled the dames under and over. They all knew at a glance when he took up his stance that he sailed on the Irish Rover. That's a great time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> ah, I think we cracked it. I think yeah. I think we found out why. Right. <laughs> fucking ding ding ding. I'm gonna plug it before we have to use this version. You're clever. You're fucking clever. I'm dumb, but I'm British. It's my job to be dumb. Come no, on. But I, I, I grew up with karaoke as an Asian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back. Oh, the money from the banks of the Lee, there was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk, who was scarce if a work, and a man from a smooth as not again. We have to get, start later, yeah. because it's not starting on the one. Yeah. Okay? Oh. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk who was scarce before work. And the man from West Mead called Malone. There was Slugger O'Toole who was drunk as a rule. And fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man Mick McCann from the banks of the back was the skipper on the Irish Rover. We had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost its way in the fog. And that whale of a crew was reduced down to two, just myself and the captain's old dog. Then the ship struck a rock, oh lord what a shock, the bulkhead was turned right over. Turned her nine times around and the poor old dog was drowned. I'm the last of the Irish Rover! Yeah, fuck yeah! Yeah, we'll do it again! Fuck yeah! yeah.